What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to fix the disconnected from Steam error you could be getting in Modern Warfare 3, Warzone 2, or the new Modern Warfare 3 Zombies mode. What is this issue and how does it happen? Well, essentially, you've lost connection from Steam. This can be due to many things, but more than likely, if you still have a functioning internet connection, it's probably not you. Is it Tuesday? Well, if it is, it could be Steam maintenance. There could also be emergency maintenance outside of normal schedules, but usually on Tuesdays between 1 to 3 p.m. Pacific or 11 to 1 a.m. for South African people, Steam will usually go down for a few minutes and you can very easily tell if Steam has maintenance by, in Steam, opening up your friends list and assuming you're offline, then Steam probably has maintenance. This will only last a few minutes and assuming your friends or local friends for that matter have the same issue, well, Steam is definitely down then. The only thing you can do is wait. If Modern Warfare 3 is the only game that you play and you get this error often enough, to find it really annoying, something you can do is simply download the game on Battle.net. You can't get disconnected from Steam if you don't have the game on Steam, simple as is, but of course if you bought it, you don't have much of a choice. Otherwise, let's say the Steam servers are still up, but you just received this disconnected from Steam error for some other reason. There's a few things that we can try. First of all, in Steam, locate Call of Duty, right-click it, and choose Properties. Then, on the Installed Files tab, click Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will run through everything you have for the game on your PC, make sure it matches the latest version on the server, and if not, it'll fix corrupted files or outdated files, etc. By the time it's done, if it found missing files especially, the game could probably be working again. Otherwise, you can double-check your internet connection, make sure you're on the internet, videos on YouTube work, obviously this one, Discord, etc. If you're using a wireless connection, try moving over to a wired connection while you play the game. If you're using a proxy or a VPN server, simply disconnect and see if the stability improves. It could definitely be one of these things. If you're not using a VPN or proxy at this current point, but you do have access to one, try connecting to a local nearby server to get a different physical route from your PC to the game server. It may give you a few more milliseconds in game ping, but it could definitely improve your stability if your network is to blame, or ISP rather. On top of this, we can try changing our DNS server. In Windows, hit Start and open up Settings. Then, inside of here, head across to Network and Internet, followed by the way that you're connected to the Internet. In my case, it'll be Ethernet. Change it to Private Network if you're at home, otherwise you can leave it on public if you're somewhere public, obviously. Scroll down and find this section here with DNS Server. Click Edit and make sure it's set to Manual. Enable IPv4 here. And for DNS, enter 1.1.1, which is Cloudflare, and for alternate, 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 Google. You can swap these around or use different DNS servers if you know any. Click Save, and now you can close out of this so we can move on to flushing our DNS to make sure these changes take place. Hold Start and press R, which is the flag key and R, then type in CMD and hit Enter. Inside of this new window that pops up, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit Enter, and when you do so, your DNS cache will be cleared and it should hopefully update. At this point, the game should hopefully work properly. If you find that your internet is running slow when you run a speed test or you're losing packets because your internet is overloaded, you can try pausing downloads, disconnecting other devices such as IoT devices from your Wi-Fi, and make sure there's no torrenting or downloading going on on your network as well. Having internet bogged down by tons of data going in and out could cause you to temporarily lose connection to Steam, causing you to get the error and booted out of your game. Finally, if you're not downloading anything, the game could be downloading in the background as well. Simply head into Options in Game and make sure that Texture Streaming, or Downloading Textures, is disabled completely. That way it won't download any higher resolution textures from the internet, saving you not only disk space, but internet usage as well, and of course, possibly improving stability too. Anyways, that's really about it. For the most part, it's likely not your fault. It's something that'll just take a bit of time to fix, usually on your ISP side or the greater WAN network in general in your area, city, etc. Anyways, thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!